do you have any uh, readers who have uh, contacted you saying that uh, they found themselves in in the book story or they found their their life in your book or something like that i'm curious that's a good question N -n nobody asked me before actually uh yeah really a lot uh, many different uh contacts i i remember a very sharply a mother who came to me and told me that, that in a way in the beginning she really hated the book because it was that honest and that she was always looking at her son who has a very uh, intense physical mental disability was physically 16 and mentally like one or one and a half year old and she said it it was so good the book because it was so uh, it didn't hide anything it was so honest but what I hated about it was that it made it for me more difficult to find my son beautiful because it's it's he's so um, it's so honest that it's in a way a little painful uh, but it helped her also and I remember a, a girl who sent me an email who she was very intensely uh, she's a very intense heavy uh, physical disability so she was not able to speak and uh, just could drive a wheelchair with one finger I think so she, she, she had very um, everything took a lot of time for her to, to, mm -hmm. to travel or to move but she was mentally really really intelligent and she did write me an email that people always uh, that she was never in a book before but that she felt like this book is about me. I'm, 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 this is about my life, or um, and that's what moved me the most. I think that, that she, um, yeah, she she never did read something about herself, and th yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I what what what, what touched me actually. Oh, um, it is. Would you say that you achieved your goal with uh, writing Summer Brother? Was there such? I guess there was, but maybe. Would you be so honest to share what it was? Yeah, yes. <laughs> I think what, what my goal was. In a way, you never achieve your goal because you want to write a perfect book and it's never perfect. There are always things in there afterwards you think, maybe I should have done that differently. And it's, it's not a very. It's not a chapter that I would change or, or, or a character or, but it's by writing a book, you always also write, you don't write books. So but when you make a decision on how they are or what they experience, they don't have the other experiences that I thought about, like maybe go with good and mother or um, going to school or meeting friends in the book. And they don't do that. And by choosing the things that are ended up in the book, uh, yeah, you also don't write the other books that, uh, that that you could write about it. So it's it's always kind of a disappointment finishing a book because I was very happy with it, but it uh, yeah, it's. But, but I always have that, actually, with every book. So it's not specifically with Summer Brother, but... Um, what I wanted to achieve is to... to write a story where Lucien and Selma and, and Nino and, and all the characters living in the... in the... Uh, in the institution are main characters. That's... Actually, I think that was my main goal, to to write about a main character, to have a main character that's, who is not, uh, who's not able to talk, who is not able to be aware of the signs he gives. So, so he's, he can just let no, you can see that he is thirsty, but he, he doesn't, he's not able to show or, or tell that he is thirsty or, or needs a new diaper or wants to eat but he's just um, 
you you can see his his needs and that's what i wanted to achieve to to build a book around the character who cannot really um he Lucien goes through a really small evolution in the book and and that's that's a very that was the most difficult thing because the character needs to have an evolution in the book he, he may not be at the end the same person exactly as he was at the beginning and i think that's what i wanted to to achieve to to find a really small evolution in Lucien and that when you finish the book and you would start reading again you would notice so many different things in how he behaves or moves or uh, he starts moving when he hears the name Selma and in the beginning you don't know that's a reaction on her but when you start rereading it you would notice more things and you don't understand him more I think that, that's what I wanted to achieve and after all um, when you put on uh, the end of the book actually that's that's the very beginning of uh, of its life, the book's life, because it starts yeah. uh, uh, meeting with the readers. And actually, yeah. I I think that a book starts its life with uh, when it's being read. So yes. the interaction with readers, the feedback they give you, that's um, that's a beautiful thing. I, I think there is about a book. So um, even if it's not perfect in, in your mind, uh, it it might be just what the reader needs so yes yeah um you never know <laughs> yeah yeah of course but i think you can never write a perfect book i, I, exactly. I think i will never write a perfect book in my life so it's no it's can. <laughs> trying again yeah because yeah. yeah but you can also never be a perfect person or i think nothing is Perfect, but in so, on, on some levels, it's you achieved what you wanted. But uh, who puts the standards? Of yes, <laughs> yeah, you put your own standards of it. It's kind of a, of a point. It's like writing is bringing a really big stone to the top of a hill, but and you want to put it really on on the top. But the top is never never a point. I mean, it's it's always kind of a little round, and you want to achieve that. Point, but there isn't really a sharp point, so you will never. Uh, yeah, you can never really put it on on a really sharp point. It's always a little bit around, or. Yeah. But that's that's you. You need to be happy with that, I think, as a writer. Yeah, did you enjoy the process of creating the book? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like every process actually. It's every process is really different. I'm now working on my third novel, and the process is really different than my my second and my first. But I really like the stage where I'm in actually now. That I'm I've been working now for almost two years on this book, and I'm I'm getting a little addicted. So and that's what what I like about writing. When I I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't stop dreaming about it and when I wake up I think oh yeah maybe I should do that or I should change that sentence or I'm being so in it that's that's really it's kind of a drug I think so tell us a little bit more about the book you write now <laughs> I'm writing a book now it's um it's about an older woman who is uh 80 81 years old and um yeah, what can I tell about it? In the Netherlands, you have it's it's about many things. It's it's I'm, I'm so in the middle of it that it's quite hard to um, to 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 summarize the story. But I will lose in in, in detail. I think I think it's about a woman of eighty one years old, and she was living with her husband, and they are were both really really old and he was taking care of her and everyone expected her to to die first because she was not so healthy anymore and he was still strong and at one day he falls and he's he 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 dies and she's left alone and she needs to go to a um to to a care home and her whole life changes and 
with that change, um, old traumas and, and uh, experiences come back because what happened before she met her man, she was pregnant of a, of a child, but not she was not married by that time. And in Catholic, uh, in the Netherlands, which is South was very Catholic in the 60s, um, women were treated really, 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 really badly. Um, it's it's uh, in a way it's disgusting when I read about it. Or and she was trying to find her own way in that time to be pregnant of a man who she was not married to. And uh, that story always touched me. I, I got to read about it ten years ago and. I thought I want to write about that, about being a woman in the 60s in the Netherlands and uh, yeah, try to find your own way or try to, to, to uh, how, how impossible it was actually to be independent. And uh, so it's, it's in a way it's about that, but it's, it's qu quite, quite difficult to, to summarize it. It's As we right said, now. You, you can be surprised at the end, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I will. Yeah, but um, Maria and Cheva should, uh, should listen to, to this interview because uh, when the book is ready, I hope she will, yeah. she will be interested in translating it. Um, I hope so. <laughs> 